Hi, I'm Nidhi Johnny. I'm a wireless LAN technical marketing engineer, and in this video, we will look into the configurable parameters for air match in HP Aruba Networking Central for AOS 10 APs. If you are unfamiliar with air match, then it is highly recommended to watch the previous video to understand its workflow and functionalities for AOS 10 architecture. So let's look at air match configuration in HP Aruba Networking Central. By default, AirMatch is enabled in Central and does not require any configuration. However, there are various parameters that can be configured as per one's requirement. Also, please note that AirMatch is only supported on AOS 10 APs when managed by Central. On AOS 8 APs managed by Central, Adaptive Radio Management ARM, is used. So, AirMatch service is enabled in the global context. So, let's go to global context. Select devices. Select access points, then click on configuration. And here you can see the RF optimization is enabled. This is enabled by default in Central. You have the option to disable this, but it is definitely not recommended. When RF optimization is enabled on APs, the AirMath service in Aruba Central collects RF telemetry from each AP and automatically tunes the transmission power and channel allocation in a dynamic way. And here, you can specify the time when AirMatch needs to deploy the optimizations. By default, it is set to 5 am. So whichever time zone you have set your APs to, at 5 am, AirMatch will apply the RF optimizations on the APs. Next, you have the option to tune your wireless coverage for the three bands. For each frequency band, you have the following options, that is conservative, balanced, and aggressive. If you set to conservative, then AirMatch makes no or very few corrective actions for channel and power adjustments. This allows the algorithm to prioritize preserving network settings over optimal RF health. If you set it to aggressive, it allows you to prioritize change of radio channels and power over preserving network settings. And balanced allows you to dynamically adjust radio channels and power while keeping a balance between preserving network settings and finding optimal RF settings. This is the recommended option. So these are the parameters for air match that we can configure from the global level. Next, let's see the options available from group level and individual AP level. So click on the list here to view the APs list. Select the required group. Click on configuration. Now if you click on access points, it will show you the list of APs belonging in this group. I have three access points in this group. And here we can see the radio profile that these APs are using. The radio profile includes the channels and the transmit power settings that the APs use. You can see that the APs are using the default radio profile. Now if you click on radio, we can see the radio profiles. Here you can see the default radio profile. You also have the option to add different radio profiles. Now we can edit the default radio profile and make changes, but we don't want to do that. Instead, we can create a new radio profile and make the required changes. So I'm going to add a new radio profile here. Here you can see option to set the allowed channels for the three bands. You can see by default the allowed channels for 2.4 GHz are 1, 6 and 11 which are non-overlapping channels. Click on the channels to view the complete list of channels for that frequency band. You also have the channel bandwidth option to set here. And here you can select or deselect the required channels. Similarly, you can see the allowed channels for 5 GHz and 6 GHz. You also have the channel bandwidth option to set here. AirMatch service uses the selection criteria set here to compute the RF plan. It selects only the channels that are allow listed here for its RF plan. And for 6 GHz, you can make the changes to the allowed channels and channel bandwidth here. Next, we can adjust the transmit power settings here. 
we can set a minimum and maximum value here for each frequency band. Next, we have the advanced settings. Under advanced settings, we have a lot of configurable parameters for each band. Here we have the channel quality aware option that we had discussed. This option is disabled by default and you can check this box to enable it for the specific frequency band. Along with it, we have the channel quality wait time option and channel quality threshold option. The channel quality threshold option determines the channel quality percentage below which AirMatch initiates a channel change. It has a default value of 70. The channel quality wait time option specifies the time after which AirMatch initiates the channel change after the channel quality is below the threshold value. The channel quality wait time option has a range of 1 to 3600 seconds with a default value of 120 seconds. So with the default values here, that is 70% threshold and 120 second wait time, if the channel quality falls below 70%, AirMatch will initiate a channel change after waiting for 2 minutes. And AirMatch will not consider that channel for the next 24 hours in its computation. Once we have configured all the required RF parameters, we can save the radio profile. Then go back to the APs list and select the AP we want by clicking on the edit icon. Then click on the radio tab. Then apply the radio profile and click on save. We can apply the radio profile to individual APs in this manner. You can see here the radio profile for this AP has been changed. We also have the option to set a static channel or power assignment to an individual AP. For this, we need to click on the edit icon for the required AP, then select the radio tab. And here you can see the option to manually set the channel and power option. This can be done for each individual radio on the APs as seen here. To view the RF parameters of APs like channel, power, radio MAC address, frequency band etc, click on the radio tab. Here you can see the information for each radio on the APs. For example, you can see the details of the three radios present on AP635. You can see the MAC address of each radio, what band it's operating on, the channel, channel bandwidth and transmit power. You can also see the channel utilization percentage and noise flow. And here you can see the number of channel changes for each radio and also the number of power changes for each radio. If you click on it, then you can view the reason for the changes along with the timestamp. Here you can see the channel changes due to radar and you can see the timestamps for each. And similarly, for power changes, you can click for any one of the radios and you can see AirMatch service assigned power changes with their timestamps. Alright, now if we go back to APs list view and click on individual AP, then select the RF tab. Here we can select an individual AP and go to RF section to see the different graphs such as channel utilization, noise floor, channel quality, etc. And this information is available for each frequency band. Alright, so these were some of the ways to monitor RF parameters and air mat service in HP Aruba Networking Central. Now let's look at the REST APIs available for AirMatch. We can get certain information and also make certain changes in configuration using AirMatch APIs. So we can actually see the complete list of available API calls by going to Organization, Platform Integration, Click on REST API under API Gateway. This will show all the published APIs. Click on this link. Under Category, select Air Match. So now we can see all the available API calls for Air Match. It is further categorized here. So under radio, you have all these API calls. Under AP, you have these and so on. So let me show you a couple of API calls for AirMatch. You can get info of all your APs by using this API.
we can see the MAC address, serial number, AP model, etc. Next, if we want to change a device running config, we can use this API. We will need to specify the AP serial and the changes here. Next, under radios, we can get detailed info on each radio present in the APs. We can get the radio MAC, the band it's operating on, the channel, and the channel bandwidth info and a lot more. We can also see channel change reasons and its timestamp. If there was a power change, we can see that as well along with its reason and timestamp. And this info is available for every individual radio on the APs. So if you want to further filter the output to say just one radio, then we can use this API. Just specify the MAC address of the radio and it will show the output only for that radio. Now if you just want radio information per frequency band, then we can use this API. So this lists out the total radio count of all frequency bands. Currently I have 3 radios on 2.4 GHz, 2 on 5 and 2 on 6. So in the first video we discussed about how AirMatch calculates path loss information for all the APs. We can see the path loss info for each AP using this API. We need to specify the frequency band here. So we can see the path loss and the reporting MAC address here. So these were some of the air match API calls that you can use. There are many more and you can explore the list here and use these APIs as per your requirement. So there you have it. These are the configurable parameters and the REST APIs available in Central for AirMatch service. AirMatch is enabled by default in Central and do not require any specific configuration, but Central offers you more granular options that you can use to further tweak your network. You can also refer the Central product documentation guide for further info on configuration. We also have validated solution guides for AirMatch configuration, which can be accessed at arubanetworks.com slash techtalks slash VSG. Our TME Docs portal also contains more info on AirMatch and can be accessed at arubanetworks.com slash techtalks slash AOS. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.